Hey everyone, it's Stephanie um, of Steph and Sherry. Um, this week's topic is having a toddler and TTC being pregnant and having a baby. And how you manage that. Um, can you say hi? Can you say hi? hi. Good job. So, as you can imagine, I have done all three of those things. Um, Sherry is two and a half, so it's been an interesting ride. Uh, so, let's start with TTC. We got pregnant shortly after we got married with Caitlin, um, two months after, I think. So, Sherry would have been 19 months old, I believe, when we conceived Caitlin. And we didn't actually TTC for very long. Um, I'm one of those people that can get pregnant at the drop of a hat. Where are you going, child? <laughs> um, <laughs> Sherry. I'm here. But, so it's not a lot of effort for me to get pregnant. Um, however, my pregnancies are not easy pregnancies, to say the least. Um, Ow. With Sherry, I was sick for five months. I had to stop working after five months. And she did permanent damage to my back. No, Sherry, don't put that down your pants. She's taking turkey in her pant leg. But, um, she actually did permanent damage to my back. Which made it that much harder when I got pregnant again. Because I had to deal with that back pain. Plus carrying a toddler. Plus everything else. Um, so that was more difficult. Um, just in terms of that. Um. Uh, with the pregnancy, I wasn't sick with this one, thankfully. I had about a week where I had the flu. Where I was throwing up nonstop. Um, and Sherry was great with it. She sat, she cuddled with me, she gave me hugs. She would sit and rub my back because I was laying on the bathroom floor feeling like I was going to die. She'd come and rub my back. Um, it was, it was very much the opposite roles of what you, it should be. The baby or the toddler shouldn't be comforting the parent, it should be the other way around. But she really came into her own and was a huge help for me when I was sick for that week. And for the rest of my pregnancy, um, as most of you know if you watch my personal channel, Caitlin was premature. She was an extremely premature baby. Um, that's what they classify her as. She was five day or four days shy of being a micro preemie. But so my pregnancy wasn't the longest thing in the world. Um, and emotionally it was hard. Um, I wanted to be able to take care of Sherry, who was now crashing out of the room. And I wanted to be able to do everything, but I was just so tired and I was so sore and I was just, it was stressful. And it was stressful, um, just with her being two, or almost two, and being rambunctious and active and never sitting still, and then having complications with my pregnancy with Caitlin. Um, we had a point where my doctor was concerned she would have Down syndrome. Um, so we had the stress of that, we had the stress of... Everything else, we were in the process of moving, or trying to move when I was pregnant, and it was just, it was a very stressful ordeal for us, and, like, I tried very hard to stay upbeat for Sherry, and to keep it together around Sherry, because she didn't need to see me breaking down and freaking out and everything else. Yes, yeah, Sherry. Sure. Yeah, there's a turtle. But... It was difficult for me to keep it together at all the time. Um, I certainly tried. Like, don't get me wrong, but for those times when I couldn't keep it together, she was awesome. So, it made a difference. Um, sorry. So, with... Um, in terms of... The rest of the pregnancy, like I said, it only lasted 27 weeks. Um, and I was, I had to go to the hospital a couple times before I delivered. Um, 
the last time I went before I delivered, I was actually kept and admitted for three days. So, um, it was, it wasn't good. Sherry had to be left with her grandparents and it was hard. She didn't understand it. She ended up, like, she had to come to the hospital to visit me and she'd freak out and she didn't like the fact that I was in a hospital bed and I couldn't pick her up and this, that, and the other. So it was hard, um, just in terms of that. And when I actually delivered, we actually had to wake her up at four in the morning and get her a sitter at four in the morning when I realized I was in labor, and that's hard on her as well. Um, she was really weird about me being in the hospital bed and not being able to do anything. She didn't like it very much at all. It actually really upset her, so um, that was something we had to deal with. But she's gotten better at that. Um, once Caitlin was born, there was the NICU and everything else that was involved with that. Um, and we, there were a few days where, oh, excuse me, where I had to bring her to the NICU and it was hard because she's weird about hospitals. She's much better with them now. Um, actually, she's she likes to play doctor a lot more now just because she's seen it done so many times. So, <laughs> it's kind of funny. But, I don't know, it's been an interesting ride for us. Um, I realize most people's experiences won't be like mine at all. But it just, you kind of got to roll with the punches. My, the biggest thing that I noticed, and the biggest thing that was hard on me, was the fact that I never had a minute to stop. <coughs> because if I wasn't, like when Caitlin was in the hospital, if I wasn't at the NICU, or pumping milk, or trying to get my three hours of sleep in between pumpings, I was chasing after a rambunctious two-year-old. Because she was 25 months when Caitlin was born. So it was chasing after a rambunctious two-year-old and trying to keep my life organized. My housework went down the drain. And I was post-op because I had a C-section. So I was post-op and I was supposed to be taking it easy and I just didn't have the option because I had to take care of Sherry and I had to pump milk and I had to go to the NICU and I had to keep my household running. Not to mention the fact that we moved a month after Caitlin was born. <laughs> um, that move ended up taking us a couple months which was way longer than what we anticipated. But you kind of got to do what you got to do when you have a baby in the hospital. And we adapted. So, I don't know, the biggest thing for me was the sleep deprivation. Because I, like, my body went into overdrive after Caitlin was born, and I just, I fought because I had to fight. And I just kept going, and I kept going, and I didn't stop. And once I finally was able to slow down when she was home and starting to sleep better and I finally did slow down, I knew, like, I realized how exhausted I really was and i just crash and burn. And the sleep deprivation really just, it made me a wreck half the time because I was exhausted and I didn't want to deal with anything. And especially with Caitlin, she's had to go to more doctor's appointments and everything else and more tests and everything else. So it's just been more stressful than what I would have imagined. If she had gone to term, it would have been, I think, easier for us. Um, thank you. She's setting my laptop as if it's a table. I have a fork, a spoon, and now a plate. Thank you. But so, in terms of that, it's been, it's been a stressful ride for us. Um, due to obviously extenuating circumstances with Caitlin being preemie and everything else, it's been interesting and like i said the biggest thing is the sleep deprivation sherry herself has been awesome with it she likes to help and that's how i keep her involved and i keep her part of it is i ask for her help and i get her to help me do household chores i ask her to help me get things for baby she gets to hold her sister whenever she wants to like we just we keep her involved in every aspect of it because that keeps her feeling better about it and it keeps her jealousy down if she can be part of it and that's all I really want is I want her to feel like she's a part of our family still so we good job so we get her to help we get her to do whatever we think she needs to do even if we don't need something we still ask her to do it and help us out just because it makes her feel good so that's uh 
that's pretty much been our journey with a toddler and TTC pregnancy and having a baby. Um, stressful, exhausting, and quite overwhelming at times. Um, thank you. As you can imagine, it wouldn't be like that for people who have a full-term healthy baby at the end of the pregnancy. Um, I'm sure it's still stressful and overwhelming, but I don't think it's to this degree, per se. Um, when you have a baby in the hospital, it's a nightmare. And when you have one at home that you want to give all your attention to and can't, it's even more of a nightmare. But that's my cue to log off for now, so I'll talk to you guys at the next topic. Bye.